when I paint, it's so nice to see the fact that you, you get some wonderful feelings uh, back from the client. When the client is happy, that's the whole point of painting because it's priceless. Your name's on that painting after all. I'm away with the fairies when I paint, which most artists will say they do the same. But because you're going through so many different emotions at different stages of that painting, that will reflect on the painting itself. It's really putting all your life experience, for me, into a painting. It's a part of me that I'm passing on to somebody else that gets put onto their wall. The toughest picture I ever did was Dreamcatcher. Every painting that I do, like I've said a minute ago, always drives up emotion. And you go through different stages when you do a painting with different emotions. This particular one was where it was a, a personal thing that was happening to me in my life. A friend of mine who lives in Germany, who's also an artist, says to me, um, she asked me the question about how I was feeling when she came over about this guy and I explained everything I was going through, yes, <laughs> everything I was going through at the time and uh, she said to me, Karen, do one thing, why don't you paint this and put all the emotions that are here on that canvas. I went away and I did this painting and the reason it was the hardest painting I'd ever done was because of it was being created 100% through my heart. Everything that I do with painting is personal. It's, it has to be personal. My dad bought my mum a drawing book. Now as far as I was concerned, mum's never drawn. She's never drawn anything. And I thought, well, why, why would you have that, dad? Why would you buy that for mum? And mum said, well, when I was at school, I was quite good at drawing. The art teacher liked it and said that you really should give this a go and she hadn't drawn for 50 years so from that point unbeknown to me she starts drawing portraits that's a wonderful thing for me to know that that's where hopefully my drawing ability came from I love Italy that's one place when I fly again I will go to Tuscany and Florence Rome I've done paintings of Venice I've been there but I was not an artist when I was there, but I have, I have memories, I have moments, I visually knew what I see, and that's what goes into your subconscious. And then many years on, you just then get that back out on the canvas. My thing that actually floats my boat, and the thing that I enjoy more than anything, and inspires me to do another painting, is people's reactions when they see my paintings. When people have a commission, they come over, my heart's pounding mm. because it's a 50-50, are they going to like it or not? But then when you see the reaction that they get, that's why I paint. You know, I was asked to do a commission from a New Zealander. She was a woman in her 90s. She asked me to do a painting and she wanted me to do it for a gift for one of her daughters. She loved it. She was moved to tears when she saw the painting. She said, my daughter's going to be so pleased. I came home from work one day and I had a letter in the post and the letter was from her daughter. And she said, just to let you know that she'd passed away um, three weeks ago. Um, and we want, I wanted you to know because I knew that my mum had asked you for a commission painting. And when I, because I knew while it was being produced and when I received it, and when I finally got to see it, my mum didn't have the pleasure of being there at the time to see me get that painting. But for me, I wanted to tell you as an artist, you have created something so special for me because when I look at that painting, I will always think of the happy memories I had with my mum. That's why I paint. So I class myself to be very, very lucky because I've got this where I can lose myself. Not everybody's got that opportunity or chance to do that. I like eating, I like the movies, and of course margaritas. You can paint any picture when you've had a margarita. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely.